Can you tell us, Peter, how it went down? Yeah, at the end of the day, Colin, it was follow the money, and Stan Kroenke was the money. At the end of the day, he was the one willing to put up all the money, and the owners, they looked at it and said, okay, this is the safest bet. Behind closed doors, I told you last week, there was a lot of politicking going around. I called it Boss Tweed and kind of Old Boys Network, and that was going in. There was a committee that made a recommendation on this that was focused of six owners, and they recommended to all the owners, they said, let's go with the Carson Project. They said, that's the best project. Then they presented, and I was told it was like looking at a DVD to a VHS cassette, the two proposals, and Inglewood just made so much sense. So they did a public vote in front of everybody in the room, 32 guys, and it was 20 to 12. You need 24 for it to be approved. Okay, it was 20 to 12 Inglewood, and at that, Dean Spanos, Mark Davis, they were shocked. What do you mean, guys? We've been talking, like you said before the break, what are you talking about? We thought we had this. What's going on? So then there's time to kind of de deliberate and politic a little bit more, then they're going to take another vote. This one was going to be secret ballot. And Colin, guess what the votes were? 30 to 2. Once it was a secret ballot, and they didn't have to look them in the face, they didn't have to look Jerry Richardson in the face, they didn't have to look Spanos in the face, everyone knew. For the NFL, for the city of L.A., for everyone's wallets, this was the best decision. And it is the best decision. The key player in all this, and you'll love this, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones spoke to these guys individually and said, what are we doing? This Inglewood project is not only the best thing for the NFL, it's the greatest sports project we've ever done with financing of a stadium. Stan's willing to fund it all and we're all gonna benefit huge from this. Jerry Jones has as much power in that room as anyone, and he comes at it from a business sense, not a loyalty sense, not a let's take care of this guy because he's our buddy. They all value his opinion most when it comes to finances, and I'm told leaving that room yesterday, Steve Tisch, the Giants owner, beaming, Robert Kraft, Christine's friend, beaming. Everyone was ecstatic that they got this done because they know that their wallets are gonna get fatter from this. Think about this, Peter. When Jerry created Jerry World, it is now the stadium of note in North America. It's it. It is the if there's a boxing match, if Manchester U and Liverpool came to America, it is it used to be what would be the little New York. It, Jerry World. So what this project is going to be is Jer Jerry World in LA. Jerry World West. It'll be the second <laughs> or first biggest global, well, at least domestic stadium. It is. And you know, I mentioned it a couple months ago here, and I said it last week. Now you have the NFL Network has a studio that's for free. Okay, great. Now you have uh, NFL Films has an area. Now you have something you could do the combine. You could do the you could draft do the draft. Here. It's all free. It's Sands paying for all of it. It's a no lose for these guys. They don't have to worry about schlepping to Indianapolis in the middle of February to go watch guys run the forty. We've got a great location that's willing to house it. It's. Also going to be a music venue. They're talking Olympics. They're talking Super Bowls again. The L.A. hasn't had a Super Bowl, I think, since the Cowboys played the Bills in 92. You get that again. I mean, it is a no-brainer for this city and for the NFL. The only thing holding it back was just loyalty to Dean Spanos and Mark Davis. And at the end of the day, these are billionaires. They're most loyal to their wallets, and they are their buddies.